All right, welcome back to part three. Um, I actually went over time on the other one, so um, I turned this here. This was the last anger, and then we kind of made her look scared because I kind of messed up on changing it. And then this is more of the shapes you want to pull off. And so um, since I, I don't feel like just going and drawing that again, I'll just tell you what I changed as I did. I kept the nose the same. Um, I went with these eyebrows, so you go, it's this kind of shape. And then um, I added these little, I kept those little lines, that little line. And for the mouth, as you can see, the shape of the mouth is, uh, remember you have like a almost a W shape. So you have that bottom W shape, and then you have the top shape like that. But then you can add the shape of the lip to it, and voila, there you go, that's the you know, total enraged mouth. And you know, it depends on what kind of comic you're doing. You can get you can get really exaggerated with mouths and make this like really huge out there and stuff. Now the eyes is a straight line as you can see, then the curved like that. And then notice here I went straight across and then came up. And to show you one of the under eyes just to so you can see that it's uh the difference there so anyway right so that's all I changed and then so we went from this to this but it's important to do the eyes up like this right here and here the bottom lid straight because when these lids come down like that then she, you know, and if I erased it, then she looks scared, and you don't want her to look scared. You want her to look, you know, to that point where it's almost scared, but you know, it's enraged. All right. So then I decide, you know what? If I keep these eyes, because this, this kind of shape, that bottom shape there, that's the same shape of like a true, genuine smile. And so I kept those eyes, and all I did is add these new eyebrows that, you know, eyebrows like that. So just a curve eyebrow. And then um, for the lips, I'll show you what I did really quick. Let's go ahead and erase them. So those are the same eyes as I just did before. That's the true smile eyes, which happens to be the same as the enraged eyes. So if we have this, you know, original lips here, all you do is you bring this out like that. And depending on how much she's smiling is how much you can bring that out. And let's say we want to give her actually... Um, that's all you would do, but let's say you want to give her a kind of a half smile. So I'm going to kind of bring that one like that. That one will come up higher. I can even kind of give her the little line. That lip's going to come off like that. Oops. And then since she's smiling, her whole lip's going to kind of be smaller. And I want to kind of give her a little space there. And voila. So now she kind of has a, you know, she's an older lady. You can throw the smile line in there. If you're doing a painting, you would, you know, kind of draw that little smile line. And then you just want to be careful even when you're painting that you do all that with just a subtle shading um, and not with uh, that with like a slightly different color than the base skin tone. There we go. Right, so now we get that kind of pleasant look. You know, and um, you can just mess around with different stuff and exaggerate you know, really bring that lip out. You know, you want to really give her that uh, exaggerated half smile. That's probably a little too much, but anyway. You can also experiment with different uh, shapes. Like, let's say you start out with like a shape like that. And you want to turn it into like, I don't know, maybe she's kind of like surprised, scared, sort of.
Now, there's a slight difference between su surprised and worried and scared, so you can make her eyes, you know, really open and also make them really open on the bottom. You can also just get away with drawing the little dot and eye if you wanted to really exaggerate. Now, there's two different kinds of, you know, kind of surprise word. You can come up with these, actually probably even a little bit higher, with the high arching brows like that. Or, you can kind of make these kind of eyebrows. where the, you have the little the worry that's that, that little line right there that's your worry line which is similar to being angry but you pinch that little skin in there and her notice her eyebrows are really high and then for her mouth you could actually keep this shape And I made it a little too small, <laughs> but you know you get the idea. You start with that shape, and then you could um, you could work with it. Now, for this particular look, I would probably have to drop her jaw down too. So I would probably have to drop her jaw down just a bit, like down to there, and then uh, you know come in like so it would be like that so anyway you get the idea what I could actually do is paint this all in white on this layer to go over the other layer and I'd probably even drop her mouth down a little bit more anyway so there you go I got the idea all right okay so that's like Oh my god, he has two penises, look. He stole my hamburger. Right, so let's see. Um, what if we wanted to just add a slight worried look? Let's take this face here. I don't know if I'll have enough time, but... Maybe if I just erase the eyes, we can do this really quick. So basically, you take the uh, eye and it'd be the same, but we don't want her. Ha we don't want her to be um, her eyes kind of close a little bit. So instead, we'll have her eyes all the way open. Anyway, so it really has to do with the eyebrows. So you, what you do is you take the eyebrows pretty much the same, but you just push it up like that, kind of add that line in there. And just making that slight difference will give her a worried look. Okay, just about out of time. We'll come back with the next part. So you see, just changing the eyebrows that little bit and the eye shape just that little bit, now she has a slight worried look on her face. All right, so as you can see, uh, eyes play a big role. and also, what direction the eyes are looking can make a difference, like eyes looking to the side or up. So we'll come back with more faces.